hello, my dear, dear Cancers. Apparently, everything in the world's trying to be loud right now, and I don't know why, but it's happening. Anyway, welcome to your bonus reading for September. It's nice to see y'all. Of course, there's a lot more going on trying to do this. Sons of whores or whatever. Ugh. Anyway, Cancer, you are getting your bonus. It's going to be a Thunderdome spread. New opportunities, new adventures, and looks like someone trying to um, get past the shit that they've been dragging around, like snakes and swords and boxes and shit, right? So this is going to be for you and the person you are dealing with. Group A, Group B, you pick out which one's the meaner one, and then we will make fun of them horribly together. Just to make you smile or whatever. Or we're just doing it just because. It's one of the two. Anyway. Let's see what these cards have for you, my dear Cancers. I always hear people call you guys Cancerians, and I don't know why, because it makes me think that you guys are Martians, which is weird. Is that weird to you guys? I don't know. But we'll go with it. Anyway. Group one, you're going to be the group up first. Remember, Cancers, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and well, Jupiter as well, if you want to include that as well. Just check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it, for it is just a card game after all. And if you would like a personal reading, all the information is down in the description box below. Email, Facebook, Instagram. First readings on the house. Everything else comes with the price, of course. And... Donations are more than welcome. Thank you very kindly in advance. All right. No limits. Group one. Let's see, you are looking for a reason to stay. That's what's in ya right now. But the situation is like someone's. You know that song by Duran Duran, Come Undone? It's kind of like someone's coming undone. Like someone's just like blah, 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 all up on their shit, right? It's like someone's coming unraveled, group one. This could be the cancer you're dealing with too. Or cancer, this could just be who you're dealing with. Either or. Right? Right, let's see. Your wants and wishes is not to communicate or reach out, group one. However, your obstacle and challenge is being at a crossroads with the situation. It's like you don't want to do something or you don't want to try to do something. You don't want to touch that new plane. Maybe group one, you're just one of those people who just don't want to, I guess, wake up or whatever. Because it's easier. Are you sure it's easier? That, well, yeah, that's what they're saying. It's easier. I guess whoever you are, group one, that's really what's coming down to it. It's like it's easier not to. The fears of rejections is offering your cup up, and what started this shit and what'll end it is, like, someone giving up, or someone deciding that they're, that they're not going to fight something off, or they want to relinquish the ability to have battles, or they don't want to defend themselves, something like that, right? With your beginning theme being, like, catching some gaslight right in front of your face, or catching somebody tr betraying yourself. Um, right in front of you, right? But this could also be like a mirror thing, like someone hurt somebody else, but they hurt themselves at the same time. One of those things, right? Crazy, tasty, snazzy, mazzy shit, right? Right. Hmm. Interesting. Group one, you're looking for a reason to stick around because, like, there was a separation here somewhere with you and somebody else, right? But the problem is you're at a crossroads where that would require you to offer your cup up, but it seems like you're not going to. This could be cancer or this could be just you, group one, who's dealing with this cancer, right? Now, this is cancer. They're probably out their fucking mind. It's probably why you don't want to deal with them, and it's probably why you're giving up on shit. 
But still, it's like someone catches some bullshit that happens to them. Or someone notices how someone tried to set them up, in a way. Alright, group one, you got the six of swords. Reverse, looking for a reason to stick around. What is up with yous, right? There might be a knight of coin, anchor, essence, they are not. They're not, um, giving something or whatever, right? So you might be expecting possibly an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus to offer something in order to stick around, but it's like they're not, you know. We got the king cups here, might be a little bit selfish, might be using their magical sage and diviner powers. Uh, negatively gaining stamina and potency with that when it comes to having the door open. Um... Possibly not wanting to feel trapped or confined and trying to find a way out of this because there's no treasure inside the cage, nor is there the happiness or completion that they've been wanting. Group one, right? Second card, these. Yeah, this person that, like, whoever this is, like, they're looking for a reason to stick around, but they aren't really seeing a reason to. It's like there's nothing keeping them as an anchor anymore. But I feel like maybe an earth sign was their anchor at some point. I'm not sure. But there's still... Like, someone's looking for a reason to stick around even though there's no reason to. Alright, so this queen of so swords. Queen of cups, right? Well, she could be swords. She just, she'll, she'll just cry as she cuts you out. Being like, you deserve this! You know. Um... Now, this could be you, Cancer, but it doesn't have to be. This might be how the person's seeing you, or they think you're behaving. Hi, kitten. Um. This person's all, like, you know, Queen of Cups can sometimes represent somebody who's too emotional, or they're emotionally manipulative. In this case, she's a little bit too promiscuous. She's too good at, um. She's too good at spite she's good at spite right and she's being spiteful because there's not enough balance here and she wants to get out of this feeling of torture and crucifixion like it's like she has a problem with how things are going like there's something she's seen that isn't fair and she can't get her head out of like how much it bothers her right but at the same time the queen of cups is reversed so i don't know how much i would trust her judgment because it's not like she's basing anything on anything close to logic or reality uh, she has like i don't know water signs have like no offense cancers but sometimes you guys have a habit of just making stuff up in your head and you'll believe it and i don't know how that works but it's whatever but that's up to you guys you know that's just what i'm saying uh, <laughs> that's just one thing i've noticed like sometimes you guys just go with whatever pops into your head um doesn't always happen to be true but I don't know. It also seems like cancer. Sometimes you guys just are... I don't know. It's like... It's like you use your emotions to verify you're right before you know you're right. And then you just happen to luck out and be right about something. And then a lot of times when you find out you're not right, you just decide, you know, Oh, well, that person just did that because, like, they don't want me to be right. And it's just like, no. No, cancer. I don't know. I don't know if this is you or not, Cancer. This could be how this person's seeing you, too. Because that's what I'm really picking up here. But if it is you, you're probably just a little bit nuts. Just, just enough. Just enough. Anyway. But, I don't know. Someone might have done you dirty, too. So that's probably why you're feeling this way. Now, what your wants and wishes are is the star. It could be an Aquarius, but they're not talking to you. They're not communicating. They're not doing anything. In regards, something to do with the past, like this bird looks like it has PTSD, it's just, sometimes it sees an egg and just goes back to the fucking war, you know? And knowledge. Insight. Group one, there might be an Aquarius you're dealing with, who won't communicate with you. Because they remember what they remember, and they know what they know. It's like they, it's like the past situations, they're keeping that shit in their mind. 
and remembering that shit, and that's why they're not speaking up. Be like, I remember when this bitch did this. Why the fuck would I want to talk to her? I remember when this fucking idiot did this kind of thing. What the hell is wrong with it? It's like someone's holding that past shit as if it is a textbook for how things should go, but I'm not sure. Uh, the obstacle one challenge, group one. First off, is stop being shy and timid. Nah, right? Um, this hangman right here, someone's at a crossroads, but they have yet to actually recover or rejuvenate themselves. They're still kind of like, la 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 la. Um, and they don't have the strength or the endurance to do so. Like, I mean, if this person was trying to, um... Ah, <sighs> it is like this person. Cancers. And cross watchers. Whichever one you want to be in this group right here. It seems like this person, um... They're at a crossroads with something. Something to do with what happened with back in the day. It's like they're holding something from back in the day up. The problem is, is that they haven't taken any time to, uh... Like, they're at that crossroads right now. It's, it's a now and never kind of thing. But... It's not like the, like the hangman isn't wasting... He's not at reverse, so he didn't waste any time. But there were, I feel like there was no time given to restore one's energy so they could have the strength or, and endurance to deal with this crossroads right here. I feel like someone just dilly-dally chilly shallied Until, like, this crossroads finally came up, and now that it's... I don't know. It's almost like someone... Like, someone was... Waiting on something? And then now that the time's here, it's it's almost like, oh, I was not anticipating this. Even though they've known it the entire time. Like, ah, what are you doing? Like, I don't know. That's, that's what they're telling me. Like, someone wanted to leave first or some shit or something. But your card isn't out here, Cancer, so I don't know. This part, like, ah, ah. Like, the knight right here has one pentacle, and this is seven, right? And it's almost like, um, the eight of pentacles, which is also over here. Someone has no idea what the fuck's going on with this, but they do know that somebody is, um, holding on to some shit in the past, like it's some, like, player's guide or some bullshit, right? Like, they knows. They remember in something. Okay. Or they learn something from the past. That's why they have the knowledge and insight, and that's probably why they aren't communicating. The fears and rejections is the Prince of Cups. Could be definitely you they are dealing with cancer, but I don't know yet. Wants to offer their cup up. Ooh, boom. That boldness and enterprise. Just going and doing it, right? In order to be the Queen of Cups. Upright. Okay, cancer, this could definitely be your side of this two-way street, but, like, we don't know until we get the player two, right? But it's like, you're either, re like, someone here is either rejecting or being afraid of reaching out to give their cup up, making that decision just to make themselves whole again? Which is like, well, why the fuck are you even worried about it in the first place if you're not gonna do anything? You know? I don't understand it. Like, I, I honestly don't get it. It's like... It's like this person recognizes that there's injustice and that they've been bound to that and shit, but they're afraid to reach out and do something in order to fix themselves. And that's what's stirring me off a little bit. It's like, why would you keep yourself from doing what you need to do in order to give yourself peace of mind? Seven of Wands, how the shit will start and how it will end. This person's got a bunch of lasers on them, but they aren't doing anything really to fight it back. Or even defend themselves. They just kind of give up on the situation. Um, dealing with harmony, chemistry, nine of coins. Some of them might find themselves an identity in the group setting. Ew, two more. Um... 
someone was very sly and ingenious with their waiting, and now they're in the Six of Swords, navigating and progressing. Okay, wait a minute. Hold up. Someone gave up on, like, a family or some shit? This is confusing. <laughs> like, this is, like, super confusing. I'm not trying to be confusing, but that's, like, you know... That's pretty much the gist of it. Like, this is somebody who, um... I feel like this person's holding a grudge. That, that like, that's, like, that's what uh, I got. It's like they're holding something against something. I don't know. What's the ending theme, please? Ooh, okay. No treasure, no discovery, no nothing. This person, um... This individual group one... I feel like they want to do the right thing. But their emotions keep getting in the way and fucking it up. It's like they can't stop thinking of something. Like, they want to be the fucking emperor. I don't know. They want to be in control. Okay, that makes a little more sense. But it's like... I don't I don't understand. Like... What a weird fucking person. <laughs> a vendetta. The fuck? Okay. This person kind of has a vendetta. Oh. Uh. It's like they lack the treasury or discovery, and it's almost like this gaslighting kind of thing they did to themselves, you know? Sending out flying monkeys while they're, um, keeping their guard up, it seems like, Cancer. Waiting to see what results and all that shit. They're trying to manifest something with all the information they're getting. Um, they got, like, this, I think this person wants to be an emperor, but here we got the empress trying to spread her seed or some shit, right? Uh, acted like a queen of wands with her beautiful music. Like, this is a bit, like... I feel like these two have nothing to do with the rest of them. It's like this emperor is like they're trying to summon her and she goes to her heart and be like, I'm playing my instrument and I can't move it. You're just gonna have to go away and come back another day. Goodbyes. You know? King of Swords right here. He's tired of waiting, tired of being calm. The next time he sees you, he's probably going to scream at you instead of acting like a pretty cool father. It's like he's waiting tentatively to come get you, right? Uh, <clears throat> here's the Knight of Pentacles again, running away somewhere. Running away from all of this right here. Like, almost all of them except for the Queen of Wands is um looking this way. Well, this bitch too, but she really doesn't count because she's kind of got her back to everything. But everybody else is like pointed this way. The King of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles are both um, facing to the right, like to the future. Um, someone being harsh and cutthroat with the words and taking their offer somewhere else. Um, breaking some hearts, I see. Oh, there's... Oh, someone went fucking nuts. Okay. King of Swords and the Emperor. That, those two have been showing up in a lot of my readings. Not always together, but they're always fucking there. And then the fool. Okay, clean slate. All right, this is like whoever this King of Swords is. It's like they were waiting for somebody to come in so they could say something really, really mean. But then here's the Knight of Pentacles again, and he's just like, you know, uh, fuck this shit, I'm out. And then he takes his pentacle and goes, leaving everyone heartbroken. And then this person loses their shit. So now this bitch is just like, you know what? Clean slate. I'm gonna throw this javelin right in your direction, and I hope I hit you right in the back. You know? One of those things, right? So that's yours. Group one. Hmm. I'm gonna get a look at group twos. Well, I'm very curious to see what's up with their side, because this one was, like, it, like, Thunderdones are a lot harder because it's, like, two sides of the same fucking story. It's like, it's always like with the truth. It's like your truth, the other person's truth, and then the actual truth. Which, you know, 
it doesn't mean that either of you are wrong or liars, but it's kind of like, you know, you never know what the other person's perspective is. And if you don't take the time to think about it, you kind of end up looking like a jackass. Let's see what we have for you, my darlings. Oh, Harley, you need to stop digging just a little bit, my little sunshine. Yes. So let's see group two. No whammies we got for you. You don't want to communicate. Okay, so you're the person who doesn't want to communicate with group one. All right, I got you. You could be Aquarius. Not wanting to reach out, not wanting to do anything. The situation, the lack of commitment right here. Or lack of wanting to be part of the group, the collective, the community, the whatever. You were just like, nah, I'll be excommunicated, motherfucker. I'm cool with it, right? Your wants and wishes is to run your fucking mouth. <laughs> like, the page or the princess of wands is always the one who's talking some shit. Right? Oscar and challenge coming against that is ooh, that's interesting. Queen of Swords reverse. Someone's making some cutthroat decisions. All because like you know they're a scorned woman. Once again, could be Aquarius, also Libra or Gemini, right? Fears and rejections is bringing the world together, and what started this shit and how it'll end is a work, 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 work. Someone's working on something, group two. Okay. With your beginning theme being, you have rest and rejuvenation. Now see, like, group one didn't had, well, they had it, but it was reverse. You actually are trying to take a break, it looks like. Okay, if you're like, if, if, if you are, okay, group two, if you're like a queen of swords or whatever, like, you're, like, what you want to do is talk some shit, but the problem with talking shit is that you will go total Queen of Swords mode, and you are going to cut anybody just because your feelings are hurt. You will cut anybody. It doesn't matter. It could be your mama. It could be your friends. It could be your friend's dog. It might be your dog, and you don't want to go that far, but you know that you can, right? All because you don't want to communicate about this whole scenario right here. Uh, you're rejecting bringing this world together because you got other shit to do. You know, you're just working, I feel like. Hmm. So, group one. Ah! Group one, you don't want to communicate because you know what you're going to say is the tower. Holy shit. Uh, when it comes to the king of cups right here, the sage or diviner. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, group two... <laughs> I think you have some shit on group one. Or I don't know, like, this is like, okay, yeah, this is why I like to say that, like, every perspective is, cor is true, it's just whether or not it's correct or not. Group two, you feel like if you communicate or reach out, <coughs> it'll bring disaster, possibly with a cancer. Right? Or a Pisces or a Scorpio. Very harsh, very selfish with emotions and feelings. Using your magical divine powers for evil rather than good, right? The situation below, the hierophant reverse could be Taurus. Either excommunication, bending the rules, or just mutiny against the rules, the community, the church family setting, the neighborhood, whatever you uh, think in regard. It's like the community stitch of it all and you're just going in there being like, I got some scissors and I'm gonna cut this shit. I'm gonna cut this shit. Right? Yeah, uh, there's a halt. It's supposed to be exceed, surpass, but it's reversed, so it's just like this shit isn't moving well at all. So now you're gonna spin the wheel and be like, wheel! Of fortune. Da -da 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 Wait, that's Mortal Kombat. Never mind, that's Mortal Kombat's theme. I think I was getting the prices right theme mixed in there too somehow, but I'm not sure. 
But yeah, it's like excommunication, like this commitment or something? Or a separation. It's like someone got excommunicated, but it didn't do shit. Like it didn't cause something to happen. Maybe somebody excommunicated you thinking that you would talk or something, and instead you're just like, I'm gonna go spin the wheel and see what it brings me. Fuck you guys. I got better shit to do. Right? Princess of Wands. Mouth of Rana. Shit stutter. You want her, or you're wanting to do this, just open your mouth. But at the same time, it's like you know that as soon as you open your mouth with some immature shit, you're going to come off and be the Queen of Swords reverse, and that's never good, you know. Going after people just because they decide to, like, stand on the sidewalk too close to you and just be like, this is my fucking boomy stick, you know? Like, that's never good. That is never, ever good, right? Um, definitely not trying to be shy or timid. It's like you want to come up and just be like, you know what? I'm done, but I want to let you know how dumb I am. You stupid, um... Cousin fucking skank? What? Okay, Ma no. We're not using those kind of names. <laughs> I'm sorry, Malachi just came out with some weird ass shit right there. Cousin fucking skank. Like, who? Did someone. What? Who did that? Okay, I don't know if he's just talking shit or if he actually means what he just said, but that's like really weird. That's weird, guy. That's weird. Anyway, back to this card reading with the rest of you. Uh, someone it, it definitely wants to communicate very harshly that they moved on from being trapped and confined. Okay, so someone got excommunicated. And it was meant to keep them trapped, but now it's like they're getting away and they just want to announce that shit in really <laughs> immature fashion or something. Or are you trying to make someone feel... Yeah, you're trying to... Like, group two, it's like... It's almost like you want to express that you're leaving in order to make someone else feel like they're trapped, but... That's all mental. I'm still confused about the whole cousin thing, because that's just like, where, where did you get that? Like, where did you get that? <laughs> Not you guys, Malachi, because like, he's a very active today. Queen of Swords, reverse. This is what I feel like, uh, like, this should be a fear. Not a, um, this should be a fear. Not an obstacle or a challenge. Huh. Well, there you are, Cancer, so this must be the person you're dealing with or something like that. Um, afraid of, like, this person's obstacle and challenge is, like, a scorned woman going after anyone or anything just to help her out. Completely illogical. There's a lot of illusion about a chariot channel enter T. Okay, you are getting up right here. There you go. You're gonna, I know you're gonna come right back, but I gotta put my legs down. Um. How weird. It's like someone's being illogical. Or that's the ops or that's the obstacle of like your own illusion is illusions about this chariot, which could be Cancer, and it's like... Cancer, if, if you're being the harsh one, or you think, uh... Excuse me. If you think that, um... This one is so weird, like, usually I don't have this problem, Cancers. Like, I can read yours, like, no problem, and I usually try to take time for you guys, because, you know, y'all are my polar opposites. I am a Capricorn, after all. But it's like... It's almost like, Cancer, it's like both sides of you that I'm looking at. It's like, on one side, you got this, and then on the other side, you're dealing with this shit, too. It's like, you're going back and forth in your head. 
a little bit is what I feel like. It's like this is both sides of you. What you show people and then like what's actually going on on the inside. It's almost what it feels like. It's just, it feels like I'm reading both sides of your coin. Even though I know this is, here, this is like two completely different people. But at the same time, it feels like some of you all are split between who you really are and like what you really want to do. So I'm slightly lost in the sauce. And Malachite and Ditsy have not stopped making jokes about whatever the hell they told me to say before. Um, so that is interesting. But right here. That's, like, awkward. It's like this person right here, group two, is scorned to the point where they can't see the truth about possibly the cancer, right? But it's like, cancer is also reversed, the chariot. It's just like, uh, like, they'll fight for nothing. And I think this is what this person is um, dealing with right now. It's like they're dealing with their own illogical sense of the delusions that they're dealing with when it comes to cancer. They've done it before? Oh. Okay, Gertie, you might like be a little bit crazy and you might be under delusions about cancer because like they've done some shit before. Okay, you guys need to stop saying that because that's rude. <laughs> Like, I, I know, I know, like, they're saying some, um, this is weird because I've never had, like, a lot of talking or some shit, but it's like, God bless America, but it's like, you're all, they, they're clamoring for you guys, apparently. When it comes to this world over here, right, Queen of Wands, someone did not calculate or theorize everything correctly, Queen, that could be a fire sign. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Um, there had to be some. Oh, there had to be quite a few decisions. They just weren't entirely sure about what to do. But whatever brought balance to them was, was the important thing. They want to balance on the monetary scale and on the mental scale. Um, there's a lot of complexity and concern, feeling like they got left out in the cold when it comes to like financial situations. Yet here we have the hanged man, where they come to transcend. To evolve themselves, to awaken. Uh, they were looking for a reason to stay, but unfortunately they couldn't come up to um, some sort of ingenious or savvy way of doing so. Uh, and then there's Little Mouth, where they got like some secrets and spilling some shit, right? And then something I feel like popped up in their head. And then it was like, oh, I can make this distance a lot bigger. Didn't you guys have something about distance? In your reading? If I remember right, I can't remember. Like, you guys were, like, making something more and more distant. Cancers. But it's something that you didn't want to do, too. So it was just kind of like, you know, like, okay, cancers. Either you or someone you're dealing with is sending so many mixed signals. And I don't know why. And that's what's confusing me a little. Like, it's like someone's saying one thing, but they're feeling another way. And it's just kind of like, why would you do that? I mean, it's like you're driving somebody away. But that's not what you want. It's like you want them to come back. But at the same time, you like somebody keeps doing some shit. Either you or the person you're dealing with are doing something to drive this person away. When that's the exact opposite of what you want. But it's, at the same time, it's kind of like, you know, like, why are you driving somebody away? If you want them to stick around, maybe you should actually, like, I don't know, communicate. Eck, you hear me? Because I know you're going to be here, my sweet, sweet love. <laughs> but it's what it feels like. It feels like there's two, like, there's definitely two different people. But Cancer, it's almost like you're embodying both group A and group B in this shit, right? It's like two of the same thing, and it's like... It's like someone keeps contradicting themselves because they're too much of a pussy to show their feelings or express themselves. You know, like they got the PTSD bird. My cards keep falling on the floor. There's three, but I'll give them to you for their fears or rejection. Now, either somebody is fearful or they're rejecting bringing this world together. Either because, it, because there's something about their happiness. They're not happy. So it's like, you know what, how about I turn my spell binding and charisma in order to bring the- Okay, I don't know if I like this, because number one, there's water on my cards, and I don't know why there's water right on my floor. I'm not about to have these bitches stick on me. 
That's just not good. Okay, but yeah, it's like someone is rejecting bringing the world together because they're unhappy. They had the ability to... That's the Knight of Cups. He was in the Group 1's reading. And that was their fear of rejection as well. The main one. Um, someone wants to bring the world together, but they're not happy with <laughs> with um, a Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. They're not trying to... Um, I feel like this person doesn't want to bring the world together to try to fix shit, to bring the union and chemistry. Like, they're already leaving with the Hierophant right here in reverse. They're excommunicating themselves, I feel like. Could be a, a fucking Sagittarius you're dealing with, because honestly, like, Sagittarius is, like, the one who gets excommunicated in order to find their own journey, their own place in the world. That's just their luck. I mean, Sagittarius has a lot of fucking luck, too. So. Anyway. Eight of Pentacles. How this shit started, how it will end, how it will come full. Suck up. So what is up with this Eight of Pentacles, right? Uh, they're working in order to ignore the pain and grief that they have in their heart. Group two is what they're doing. And they're trying to work to get their own happiness. It's what it seems like. So that's what you're trying to do. Reminder! Cross watchers! Um, switch where you need to, but nobody... But, you know, like, that's up to you. You don't have to like this shit. I really don't care. Anyway, what's your ending theme? Yeah. Endurance, preservation, seven of wands. This person. Okay, there's seven of wands within the um, other one too, Cancers. Group ones as well. But it was reversed. This person is like... Yeah, these two cards were reversed in the other one. But now they're up right here. Someone's trying to recover from all the bullshit between the two of you. It's like you two come from two completely separate worlds, or this is both sides of you, and you are just completely terrified of bringing yourself together, the whole person, in order to deal with this shit. Because this person, like this person, scorned because there are secrets that you're keeping that you'll fight. You'll just start bashing people's heads in in order to keep quiet about, and it's just kind of like. Mm. It's probably why this person doesn't want to communicate, and if it's not you, Cancer, it's just this person doing this to you, and you're trying to recover yourself. It's whoever you want to be in this, or whatever story sounds right to you. Right? Right. So let's see what's up with it. You have come for this person. They're relinquishing this burden that's been on their back. They're like, done. They're like, I'm just gonna throw it over your fucking table. Um, I'm moving to calmer waters. They're done feeling burdened by all this shit. Kitten... It's been a plague in their mind for a while. No. No. Get off the table, dude. I already told you. Oh, because that's wet. Okay. So come here, because that is all wet, isn't it? Sorry, she just got up on here and I didn't understand why. But now I do. So. There you go. It's dry. Like, I have a bottle sweating up here. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it would get all over you, kitty witty. I just paid the bills. You know? It'd be easier if you paid rent. Or if you had opposable thumbs, but you know, you're a kitty cat, so what can you do? But yeah, this person's mind's been... Like, if someone is releasing a burden and trying to move on the calmer waters because they've been plagued in this situation for a good minute. Like, look at all them birds and bats and shit. And they aren't saying a goddamn thing, neither. Uh, High Priestess Reverse could be a Pisces in this. Uh, they are just taking their cup and running away. Like, they're just be like, you know what? I ain't worried if I still have feelings. I'm just go. I'm gonna go, because it's like... <laughs> Like, it's better than sticking around for bullshit, right? Um, they find no victory in any of this at all. They don't feel victorious in it at all. They feel like they might have had enemies against them as well. They are still heartbreaking for sure. 
but they're going to keep making music and they're going to find whoever it is that uh they might use music or something to express their love still or maybe they'll find somebody else while they're just playing music like you know like drop the bass hey you like this beat too yeah i like it like music and beats too like they can't hear each other but it's cute because like this person's totally into their bass machine you know um they feel like no justice has been served in this situation between you and group one but that they have the wrong idea about there was justice served um they don't need to work anything out or have any more dreams about this it apparently seems like um because they did their job in avoiding this tower which they already had over here one more and then we're done cancers and they're going to find new love elsewhere or they could apologize or something like that one of the two but that's what i got for you cancer for you and your peeps so there you go reading's over um if you enjoyed this reading like you can hit like share and subscribe if that's what you want to do it's up to you um, no pressure from me, of course, but I would greatly appreciate it. I'm almost at 2,000 and I'm excited. Yay. Anyway, I love you guys and I'll see you later. Mwah. Take it easy. Bye-bye.